Magandang buhay, students! I am your Sir Isagani. Welcome to our science channel. Today, we will learn about parts of a globe. But before we proceed, do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to be updated for our new uploaded science video lessons. Before we know how to locate places on Earth, we need to be familiarized first with its imaginary lines and parts as well as with the different tools that are used to locate places on Earth. Globe and map are the tools used to identify places on Earth. Both of these tools are representation of the Earth at a manageable size. How these tools differ from each other. Globe is a true and three-dimensional representation of Earth. It is a spherical, it is a spherical shape rather that shows the relative location of different places on Earth. While the map is a symbolic representation of Earth of different characteristics of a place usually drawn on a flat surface. We have different kinds of a map, but for this lesson, we will use the world map. As we can see in a globe or a map, there are lines drawn on it. These lines are called imaginary lines. They are called imaginary lines because this cannot be found in our real earth, but it provides numerical information and guides us in determining the location of a place in the globe or map. We have two imaginary lines which are used to locate places on earth, the latitude and the longitude. Let us discuss our first imaginary line, the latitudes. The latitudes are horizontal lines that run from east to west. These are called parallels. Why do they call parallels? It's because the circles formed by latitudes lie parallel to the equator and they do not meet each other. It forms circles that are smaller at the poles and are bigger at the equator. Latitudes are used also to determine whether places on Earth are north or south of the equator. We have special types of latitudes. One of these is the equator. The equator lies at the zero degree parallel of latitude. It is also known as the starting point for latitude. When we are discussing the equator and the other line that we will discuss in the later part of our lesson, we need to familiar also to the word hemisphere. If we divide the word hemisphere, we will create or form two words. First is the word hemi, which means um, half, and sphere, which means earth. It means that hemisphere is the two equal halves of the earth. Um, how hemisphere related to the equator? Because the equator is a line that separates or divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. Other than the equator, we have other special types of latitude. We have the Arctic Circle that can be found at the 66.5 degrees north latitude. 
Next is the Tropic of Cancer that lies at the 23.5 um, degree north latitude. Next is the Tropic of Capricorn that can be found at the 23.5 degrees south latitude and the Antarctic Circle lies at the 66.5 degrees south latitude. All of these latitudes are related to the climate of a certain place or country on Earth. Um, this will be further discussed in the later part of this quarter. Our secondary imaginary line is the longitudes. Longitudes are the vertical lines that run from the, nor the north from north rather to south. It is also called meridians. Why do they call meridians? Because these lines are passed through the two poles, the north and south poles. They are not parallel to each other. They do not meet to each other, but they have the same length as you can see in the picture. Longitudes are used also to determine the east and western part or eastern or western part of the earth. One of the special types of the longitude is the prime meridian. Prime meridian lies at the zero degree longitude and also known as the starting point for longitude. It is a line that separates or divides the Earth into Eastern and Western hemispheres. Do you have a friend, relative, or family member that lives or works in another country? Have you noticed that there is a difference um, in time and date of our country to their country? This is because of this line, because of the international date line. What is this? It is a boundary line on the surface of the earth that, can, that lies rather at 180 degrees longitude north-south line. So as you can see in this picture, so this black arrow um, pointing the red, this red line, which is the international date line. Um, the day and time change when you cross in this line. If you cross it traveling westward, the date increases by one. Okay, But if you cross it traveling eastward, the opposite occurs. It means the day or the date decreases by one. As you observe, all latitudes and longitudes are intersecting to each other, forming a 90 degree angle. Combination of all latitudes and longitudes is called graticule, or in common term, is grid. Again, grid or graticule are the combination of all intersecting latitudes and longitudes. And these are the different parts or lines of a globe or map. I hope you have learned a lot from this lesson. If you want to know on how to locate places on Earth using a coordinate system, Click the next video for you to find out. Again, I am your Sir Isagani. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time!